here we are on our last day in Oxford and what a time we've had. We've been here for 10 days. So much to do, so much to see. It's an amazing place. So much history. We actually haven't been in the West, I don't know, Westgate Shopping Centre, whatever it is, amazingly. Everyone says go there first. We've not even stepped inside. But all the historic streets, fabulous little individual shops, you know, a cheese shop, a hat shop, it's bookshops galore. Um, and the history and these buildings, it's just been fabulous. Incredible. Listen. So this is the uh, Ratcliffe uh, camera. Camera is from the Latin meaning room. And it's a reading room, basically, uh, for them what are reading. Yeah, we're not allowed to go in because we're not reader readers. We just read books. But we've peeked through the windows. It looks fabulous. Yeah, it's uh, just been a wonderful, wonderful visit. And all this honey-coloured stone is, just looks great in this sun. And uh, yeah, the Dream Inspires of Oxford is what it's known as. Yeah, and if we look a bit worn out, it's because we just walked up 199, no, 99, 99 steps to the top of the Carfax Tower to see a view of the whole city. And we've now just found another church tower behind us where we've seen people at top. So we're recovering, ready to walk up <laughs> that. Go up there now and have a look up <laughs> from up there. But it's a fantastic city. If you're gonna have a long weekend anywhere, come to Oxford, it's wonderful. And last time we were here, we didn't see anything, no, did we? We just went in no. and out on our way up I the I think Thames. it was the heat of the summer and we were ready to move on. And in fact, this time we came into Oxford before Christmas intending to spend a day and then get out of town. But we just, unlikely for us, we decided to stay in the city. And we've been here for nearly two weeks now, yeah. just popping in and out of town. Um, who knew that floating our boat would be moored in the city for two weeks? But that's how it is. I think we're ready to move on now, aren't we? We are ready to move on. We've taken the boat down Isis Lock, turned around, and we're facing north again, ready to go back up the Oxford Canal. Yeah. We've had a fabulous, fantastic Christmas and New Year. Yeah. And I uh, hope you all did too. Yeah. So here's looking for a New Year floating our boat wherever we're going. Batteries are recharged <laughs> and um, yeah, we're ready to go up. We? All we're waiting for now is the river is still high, a couple of locks along and we can't go through. Yeah. I think at the moment we might be able to, but it's a little bit dodgy, so, so that's all that's stopping us. The canal turns into a river for a short section of a half a mile or so, and that's uh, too high for us to go through. So we're just waiting for that to drop and then we'll be up. On our way. We have actually decided if we get stuck here for longer, we can come back and do even more of Oxford, <laughs> like a whole day at the Ashmolean Museum, which yeah. would be fab. But trouble is, even if we sold the boat and with our savings, we still couldn't afford to live in Oxford, so we've got to go. <laughs> we can't afford anything here, but yeah. Anyway, come and have a look with us. I hope you're all appreciating this. We must have climbed about 350 steps today to give you these views of above Oxford. But it's not, it's not just 300 steps, they're that wide and the spiral is like that. And I'm that wide. <laughs> and we did meet somebody coming down on the first lot, <laughs> which was cosy. <laughs> well this gives you a great view of uh, what Oxford's like, it's just gorgeous.
we've come for a lovely little pre-cruise walk to somewhere called the Trap Ground and it's just outside or just on the edge of Oxford and I found it by mistake and it's what eight acres? Of Nine acres of uh, woodland uh, ponds and reed beds. Reed beds, it's fabulous there's little signs all around telling you what to look for every season of the year and I simply found it because I took a wrong turn on my walk along the canal a couple of days ago it's absolutely gorgeous. That was one of your. Term. That was one of your. I'm nipping out with the dogs for 20 minutes, and you were gone an hour and a half walks. Not, not quite, but yeah. <laughs> but you have to take these opportunities. So just you know, always look around you. Look on the paths to the side of where you're going. But um, yeah, it's really cold. Freezing. We've got a long cruise. A well, fairly long cruise ahead of us. We're hoping today to get through a river section. Um, because we don't know what the weather's going to be like and it has been closed of late. So we're hoping that it's gone, the river's levels have gone down for us to cruise through. Got a few locks to do, haven't we? And the reason we've got to hurry up is because there's a closure on Monday and if we don't get through this section and pass the swing bridge, I think, that's being closed on Monday, we're stuck here until March. So we've got to cruise. Um, you're not feeling great. You're a bit sniffy today, yes, aren't you? I'm a bit, a bit allergic. But we've got to go. So we've got about 10 layers of clothes on. Um, dogs will be walked. We're going to go and get some hot drinks on the go. And right. that's it. Let's do it then. First little bit of the Oxford Canal heading north done and it's taken us ages because number one we stopped for water and then we had two locks, two lift bridges, met the coal boat, dusty, and so we had to stop for that. And also lots of this um, towpath is taken up for Agenda 21 permanent moorings and of course we're down in Tickover past all of those. It's taken forever. What's Agenda 21? It sounds like a, a anti-government political something or other <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's, uh, it's obviously 
something that happened to make uh, more uh, permanent mooring spaces for people in high demand areas and I don't know the full details of it but I just know you get a whole stretches of resident boaters. So that's we have to go and tick over and really slow past all the boats so that takes time. Yeah. Now we're out in the open again so um, yeah. crank it. Well first of all jacket potatoes are ready. Oh, I think what are they so done? I'm, I'm gonna I think so I'm gonna go and get the potatoes up so see you later <laughs> You go for a red then Francis. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of chance did I really? Once I get five seconds of green light. I know we don't go fast but so we've just got to the first lock which will take us on to the river section, uh, River Churwell. Lights are showing amber, but there is a boat on the on the lock landing. We're not quite sure why, but as I say, the uh, lights are amber, which means go with caution. So we're going to go. It's getting a little bit dark now. It's later than we hoped it would be. Uh, it's just been such a slow cruise. So we're going to just crank it through. I think it's about a mile of river, and we'll be going against the flow now just get to the other side and get moored up we know that we're past the stoppage which is happening from Monday get past the river section and then we know that we can just relax and stay as long as we want
well we did it we've just moored up it's dark outside we put the pram hood up in record time because our fingers are numb we're so cold we just wanted to get in i think it's the first time we've cruised to moor up in the dark since heading into manchester a couple of years ago um there just wasn't anywhere to moor after the last lock but we found a spot um it's next to a railway line but that's okay that'll do um i think richard's got a bottle of wine to open haven't you? i have got a bottle of wine <laughs> Just deserves desserts. Just desserts. <laughs> Can't get my words out. I'm so cold. We're really cold. Really cold. But um, boat's cleaned. The fire's warm. Um, everything's good. And I've got the wine to boot. What so. a hot shower. Yeah, it's lovely when you've had a day like this. It's been hard work, but we've got full batteries, hot water, hot showers, full of water. The washing's been going. Um, batteries. Everything is charged up. We did, we've done nearly eight miles, we've done five locks, three lift bridges, we stopped to get some shopping, we stopped to get some water, we stopped to get some coal from the coal boat, we stopped to empty the rubbish <laughs> in the recycling centre, and now we're here for a few days and that's great. Everything's done, it's a good feeling actually isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. yes. So, see you later. <laughs> get that wine open friend.